So there are none so blind as those that will not see. So what do you do when you can see? What do you do? Let's get into it. Hi everyone. Uh, it's quite late in the day for me, which is unusual. I usually do it when there's at least a little bit of daylight, but uh, today's been a little bit confronting and it was my own doing. It was my own doing. So in addition to the normal photographs that I took, I took some extra ones for my files. I took ones of me, I like sort of scrunched up the dress so that we could see more of the shape. But I also took some photographs of me just wearing a bra. Now, knowing me the way that I do, I'm the sort of person that needs to have that exposure therapy. It is something that I've responded really well to in the last couple of years ish. I knew that when I looked at these photographs of me naked that I, I knew that it would be very confronting. But at the same time, it shook my world and <laughs> I rattled my own cage. Mm. So you probably would wonder why would I subject myself to something like that? Okay, so years ago when I was on Tony Ferguson, I, I may have mentioned in previous videos that there was a point where I looked in the mirror one day and I had no idea who was looking back at me. And I went, headed for the hills, put all the weight back on. So my reason for taking a face photograph front, side, back has always been <clears throat> with a view to giving you guys that visual statement, as it were, of the loss. Because, you know, you've got your scales and you've got your measurements with the tape, the measuring, measuring tape. But like I've been saying, the, the photographs, <laughs> oh, they kind of tell a story on their own. You know what I'm saying? So it was always my way of providing you guys with as much of that spreadsheet information, the scale information, the visual information, so that you could not only see the spreadsheet of all of those measurements and the scales, but you, you could also see the visual of what this healing lifestyle can do to the body and do for the body. So my re I'm not going to take naked photographs of myself every week. I just don't think I could do it. However, I am going to still continue to take them because I want to, after I get my vibration plate, which good news, um, the buy me a coffee money has dropped into my account. I've already contacted Everfit to find out how soon can I, can I have it yesterday? Um, so yeah, I'm in a funny place with AdSense at the moment because they're still trying to get there. I don't know, they're just trying to, they take too long, too long, too long. If buy me a coffee can sort out their, their business in, I applied to have the money transferred to my account on Wednesday. It is now Monday, my time. And that's a European, based company. Now, if they can do it, AdSense can. It just, it takes too long, it takes too long. So it's highly likely I am going to disable super chats and stuff like that and just let the viewing revenue just work in the background because it's just, you know, I, I can't be playing those games, you know, it's just, it's not worth it. And the, the chunk they take out of your money is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And they can't even get with the program quick enough to 
give people the money that they've earned. You know, it's it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So anyway, I digress. The money's dropped in, so I've got the money for the, the vibration plate. And I know it's going to be a game changer. Now, yesterday, I plonked myself down here and I watched the full three hours of the live stream that happened a few weeks ago on um, Limitless Lindy's channel, The Carnivore Cure with Todd and Michael. I sat down here and I watched that live stream with Leslyn Keith about lymphedema, lipedema. It took me all afternoon to get through because I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. There was just so much information. It blew me away. I won't go into too much detail right now, but within 26 minutes of watching this live stream, the questions I had surrounding the death of my mother, that I've been juggling those what ifs for 23 years, all of those questions got answered in this one stream within 26 minutes. Now, I honestly cannot stress this enough. If you have any questions about lymphedema, lipedema, the carnivore diet, how that works in with all of it, vibration plates, the do's and don'ts, the everything, the lymphatic system, the all the things, the everything. I'm sorry, folks, but you will need to sit yourself down and watch this video for the entire duration of the three hours that it went for. It is an eye opener. Don't ask me a questions about lymphedema and lipedema. Your official go to for questions relating to lymphedema and lipedema has to be that three hour live, folks. If you think finding out about food companies and if you think finding out about big pharma and doctors, their lack of education, the whole myth behind cholesterol and all of this and everything, if you think that was a lot, wait till you get a load of this video. So I am going to put the link to that live from all three of those channels so that you can pick who you want to go and watch it on. It's going to be the same stream on all three channels, but I will put all three of them in the description below. Like I said, if you have any questions about lymphedema, lipedema, carnivore, and how that all works in with that, your lymphatic system, vibration plates, do's and don'ts, little extra tri tips and tricks, this is going to be your go-to video. I cannot stress it enough. I cannot stress it enough. I took the photographs of me naked because I wanted to see where lipedema is concerned, exactly what it is I'm working with here. And... I sat on the end of the bed and I wept. I am happy that <laughs> people who lift weights and stuff like that, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. I'm doing a Rossi Woods here and there I said it, I don't care. If the ones that are doing the weightlifting and the shredding and all of that jazz and you look upon people like myself with disgust and all those people go, oh, my God, how could you let yourself get to that condition? Ugh. Get bent. Every time we stand up, we are weightlifting. Get out of my face. It is a miracle I can walk at all. But you 
know what my husband said to me? And he's right, of course. <laughs> he's right. He basically just ran straight to me and hugged me. And I had all of these things going through my mind. I'm not even going to go there in this video. But he said, you know what? Obviously, these photos did exactly what you knew they were going to do. And I did. He said, but the difference now is that you are doing something about it. Already, you're doing something about it. And when you get your vibration plate, that's going to be next level. You have the tools in your tool belt to be able to fi fix the issues. Ah, Dan. Ah. I'm going to have to go back through my comments because somebody said early on when I started Carnivore, you're in for the ride of your life. I need to start giving that person credit for that because they were so right. <laughs> Dang. Whew. You know, these people who look at us big gals, us big gals who are carrying a considerable amount of weight, being be it fat or lipedema or lymphedema. These people who look upon people who are in these conditions walk a mile in our shoes <laughs> and they look at us going, oh, how could you get let yourself get to that point? Really? Try five minutes in our body with the pain that we have to withstand. Go on. Have a go. You'll last five minutes. Five minutes before you're screaming to be let out. Five minutes. That's how long you'd last. I was talking to my friend Adrian the other day. And I told him about a t-shirt design that I am going to have made when I get there. And full permission for you guys to go right ahead if you want to do that now. If you've already reached your goal, go for it. I'm going to have a photograph on the back of my t-shirt of my before shot. And on the front, I'm going to have words that say, you're looking at the after photograph. And as I walk away from these asshats who are quick to judge a book by its cover, they can have a look at the before shot as I walk away from them. That's what I'm going to do. I think we need to get into some photographs it's just going to be the standard photographs for now I may or may not in the future as I can get things that are a little bit more clingy I'll be able to give you better photographs I mean we are getting to a point here where the top of this is just ridiculously big it's 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 getting there I don't want to take it in. I don't want to take it up. This is my um, badge of honor. This is going to be the thing I. This is going to be the thing that I hold up to compare. This. I can't. I can't take it in. I just. I can't. I can't take it in. I can't take up the hem or anything. It has to remain exactly like this, unaltered, so that in years to come, I can hold it up in my thumbnails and go, look, look what I did. And you can do it too. You just got to want it. So let's get into some photographs and some really nice news today. Cue the montage.
So, <laughs> yeah. Um, the last couple of weeks have been considerable losses. And the only thing that has changed, the only thing is the fact that I stopped taking the Bioceuticals Ultra Muscle Ease Night Magnesium, which did have a small amount of sugar in it. And I started taking my electrolytes every day. That's the only thing that's changed. The only thing. I have lost since the beginning of the year 31.7 kilos, which is 69.8 pounds. I now weigh 188.5 kilos. I start, I'm looking at my spreadsheet. I started at 220.2 kilos, which was 485.4 pounds. I'm now down to 415.5 pounds. I'm 16 pounds away from being under 400 pounds. Uh, I saw that loss today of, what, 2.1 kilos? <laughs> I got on the scales this morning and I let out the loudest WTF. Husband comes rushing in and he said, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? I said, I've lost 2.1 kilos. He said, yeah, of course you have. He said, because you got rid of that sugary bioceuticals crap. <laughs> He said, of course you have. I said, yeah, but in two weeks, I've lost how many kilos? I mean, he said, yeah, is it because you got rid of the sugar in the bioceuticals, ultra muscle ease night? And you're giving your body electrolytes. Oh, let somebody tell me I don't need electrolytes, please. I dare you. Have a go. Tell me I should get rid of them. Go on. Go on. Have a go. Whatever. See what happens when I snap out of it, confront it, deal with it. I watched a, 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 the tail end of a live today, another Limitless Lindy, talking about these things that come up, these triggers that come up, like a waiter with a tray. And, you know, if it comes up on the tray, then, you know, chances are you probably need to think about dealing with it. <sighs> what a great analogy. Great analogy. That's been sticking in my mind ever since I heard it. This journey is massive. It's bigger than I am. It's bigger than I ever will be or ever could have been. It's emotional. It's mental. It's physical. And you know what? It's spiritual as well. Spiritual, you can take any way you like. At the end of the day, I'm the one doing this. That may be a tough thing for some people to hear, but I'm the one responsible for putting myself in this position in the first place. The buck stopped with me. And it stops with you too. Cravings are real. I haven't had any, sorry. But I have also eliminated all the sugar from my diet. It's gone. Not a doctor, but I venture to suggest that once you do get rid of the sugars in your diet, carbs, actual sugars, fructose, whatever it is you want to call it, all of it. Something Todd said even in this lymphedema, lipedema live stream, the best way to go about it initially is just go full strict, cut it all out, get rid of it all because it is the ultimate elimination diet. You're not going to know what you are susceptible to in terms of all these other things that you could have. We're talking could have as in keto for keto. Herbs and spices and all of those things. You're not going to know what inflames you until you get rid of it all. The carnivore lifestyle is the perfect vehicle 
to enable you to find that out. But to find that out, you have to cut it all out first and stick to the plan. Stick to it, trust the process, and dig your heels in. So what if somebody offers you a cookie? Will it kill you to say no? It won't. The sugar addiction is real. It is a drug. And I've been saying for ages, I'm one Hershey's kiss away from falling off the wagon. And I think it's the Baroness of Beef who said something like, I'm not a moderator, I'm an abstainer. I've learnt that much about diets now and lifestyle changes that moderation for me don't work. Does not work. Better off just not having it. You've got to want it. And I mean really, really want it. If you're fleeting and flittering about falling off the wagon every day, you've got to ask yourself, do you really want it? I'm, you know me, I'm a tough love gal. If you are falling off the wagon every day, that's fine. But what you have to learn is to, if you like, not that I'm going to, if I had a piece of toast with peanut butter on it, all right, okay, well, that happened. My next meal is meat. Don't wait to get back on the wagon. Just make the next meal meat. You've got to want it. You've got to want it. It's not easy by any means. As I said, for me, it's mental and emotional and spiritual for me. And visually, today was a, that was a, that was a big deal. I already know what I'm going to talk about for my midweek video. Mm. And nothing really controversial. I know, shock horror, right? <laughs> but I'm going to give you some homework. Right. Between now and Thursday my time, which I think would be Wednesday night your time I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen and I want you to start don't put them in the comments below save them for the midweek video I want you to spend about half an hour in total peace and quiet no one around to interrupt you you get your piece of paper and your pen and I want you to write down the goals that you have, the things that you would like to have, the things that you would like to do when you get to your goal. Don't write them in the comments below on this video, okay? Write them down on a piece of paper, half an hour. Spend time with yourself in your own mind and really think about your goals. Because trust me, they're going to be important. We are going to discuss goals and uh, self-inflicted time restraints. Now, you know, I don't normally give a heads up of what I'm going to talk about, but I want you to think about that. Do not comment below about that. I want you to think about what I've just said. All right? Write down your goals, what you'd like to do, what you'd like to have, what you'd like to see achieve, what you'd like to achieve. Where do you see yourself in about a year's time? What does that look like for you? Really, really think about it, okay? And on that note, I am going to say, be kind to those around you. Protect your peace. Don't take any crap. Oh, and be kind to yourself. I love you guys. Mwah.